You're listening to Tim Bulkley's 5-Minute Bible. Welcome to a new series. Hebrew has a word for it. Translation is never word for word. We have difficulties with the constructions and we have difficulties with the words, neither of which transfer from one language to another directly. And some words are particularly difficult. It may be their connotations that cause problems, the feelings that they carry or it may be their denotations, what they point to. One word in one language can point to several different things in another language. And then cultural and values get in on the act. Because of this difficulty I want to deal with a few words that are particularly important and particularly difficult to express in English. Hebrew has a word for it. Today's word, chesed. You'll see it's spelled with a ch or an h, that's because the first sound is a ch which English doesn't really have like the CH in Bach the composer Chesed is really important it's a key cultural value in the Bible but it's also highly theological the words used of God more than it's used of human beings and it typifies God and God typifies Chesed Chesed is faithfulness, love, loving kindness, loyalty all rolled up into one magnificent ball The steadfast love of Yahweh never ceases is a refrain in the Psalms and occasionally elsewhere in the Bible. And steadfast love gets close to the meaning of chesed. Steadfast moderates the emotion suggested by love. And love implies the generosity and care that steadfast may lack. Chesed or steadfast love is a key word in Ruth. Ruth is a story about family. Chapter 1 verse 8 sounds ordinary enough but Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law go back each of you to your mother's house. May the Lord deal kindly chesed with you as you have dealt with the dead and with me. But note that Naomi is paralleling human and divine chesed and that's a feature which will run through the book of Ruth. The second use in chapter 2 verse 20 sounds similar but ups the ante. Blessed be he by the Lord whose kindness has not forsaken the living or the dead. Naomi also said to her, the man is a relative of ours, one of our nearest of kin. So chesed is permanent, the living or the dead. And chesed is shown above all in family. In chapter 3 verse 10 May you be blessed by the Lord my daughter this last instance of your loyalty is better than the first you've not gone after young men whether poor or rich says Boaz to Ruth so she's shown loyalty twice she's shown chesed twice firstly by returning after with Naomi to the foreign land of Bethlehem and now in choosing Boaz, not any of the young men of the village, rich or poor, who Boaz assumes she could have married. Chesed is not love, as in lusting after or even liking. Chesed is love as determined willing. It's stickability through thick and thin. The nearest our culture gets to Chesed, I think, is in the marriage vows, the traditional ones, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. We get something similar in Ruth, chapter 1. Ruth to Naomi. Don't press me to leave you or turn back from following you. Where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, your God, my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. May the Lord do thus and so to me, and more as well, if even death parts me from you. That, my friends, is chesed perhaps the key virtue in scripture, certainly the key family value in the Bible. Bye for now. God bless.